Now, in the event of a query failure, React query will automatically try to rectify it by running it again three times. This is the default count and you can change this in the query options. A query failure in this case would be the query function failure. So for example, say you are trying to make a request to an invalid endpoint. I'll change the user's endpoint over here and I'll just add one extra S. Since this endpoint does not exist, it will throw an error in the query function and you can see in the network tab that the API is being called for three more times after the first failure. So I'll go back to my browser and I'll go to the list. The user's endpoint will fail. It again gets triggered. Now this is a stupid example because it will always fail as there is no such API. But in some cases where there are actual server issues, a fresh request might actually help, which is what this retry mechanism solves. Now let's see how we can configure this. There's a retry option for each query that lets you pass in three kinds of values. Setting a boolean value will permanently enable or disable a query retry. So setting it to true will retry infinitely and false will stop any future retries. You can also pass in a specific integer value which will set the retry count to that integer. 3 is the default as I had mentioned earlier. You can also pass in a function for this property. This function will return a boolean. So a failed query is going to retry until and unless the function does not return true. But that's a rare use case though. So making use of an integer as the retry count is the most common way of handling retries. Now if you notice carefully, you'll see that the duration between these retries increases after each instance. So let me actually go back to the browser. You'll see the user's API call failed. The first retry happened immediately. The second one took a little bit extra time and the third one took a lot longer. So there essentially is some sort of delay between these retries. We can also configure this delay using the retry delay option. The default delay is 1000 milliseconds or one second and it doubles with each call. So the first retry will be after one second of query failure. The second retry would be after two seconds. Third one would be after four seconds. Fourth one would be after eight seconds and so on. It is capped at 30 seconds. So beyond that, there's not going to be an increase in the duration between retries. Now, if you pass in an integer value to this retry delay option, the gradual increase in the delay is discarded and the value you provide is treated as a constant interval. So if I set the retry delay to let's say 2000 milliseconds, it's going to retry for every two seconds and it will not progressively increase. So let me save this and go back to the browser. You see that the user's request failed. Hello darkness, my old friend. Now if I go back to the browser, you'll see that the interval between all these three retries was just two seconds. It was a constant interval. You can also pass in a function instead to tweak the delay. The default behavior is actually a function which you can override to add your own retry logic. That's actually pretty much it when it comes to retries. The React query API makes everything pretty straightforward when it comes to configuring queries. Speaking of configuration, I wanted to touch upon one more thing which I did not in my earlier videos for some reason. All these configurations that you set for individual queries, almost all of them can be set on a global level as well. Remember when we were setting up our query client and observer at the beginning of the series? The query client instance can take all the same options that we were providing for each query. So say for instance, I want the retry delay to be fixed to two seconds for all the queries. I'll just directly go to the main JSX file. I have the query client here and inside this client, I'll pass in a set of default options and for each query, the retry delay is now going to be 2000 milliseconds or two seconds. And this should work as expected. So yeah, just wanted to share this information with you. That was pretty much it for this video. So do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.